why did I want to become involved in Doctor Who? It's Doctor Who. That's the simple answer. I got this phone call which said, would you like to write a Doctor Who? And I didn't have to hear anything else. The answer is yes. Doctor Who is one of the reasons I became a writer. The second doctor is my doctor. The doctor you first see, the doctor you first encounter becomes your personal doctor. And for me it was Patrick Troughton. And I would argue that Patrick Troughton is the most important doctor. Because when he took over from William Hartnell, his incarnation of the doctor, this sudden change from the rather frosty old man to this rather ebullient, cheeky uncle, really established a character of Doctor Who. And you look at Matt Smith, who's playing Doctor Who nowadays, who was absolutely channeling Patrick Troughton. You can't understand being so ancient. Hey. I mean old. Oh. You probably can't remember your family. Oh yes, I can when I want to. And that's the point, really. I have to really want to, to bring them back in front of my eyes. The rest of the time, they, they sleep in my mind, and I forget. And so will you. Oh yes, you will. You'll find there's so much else to think about, to remember. Our lives are different to anybody else's. That's the exciting thing. Nobody in the universe can do what we're doing. My story is called um, The Nameless City, and I'm not going to tell you what the name of the city is. It opens with the Doctor and Jamie, his companion, in London in 1968. And we stay in London for not terribly long, and then we end up on, on a planet at the very edge of the galaxy. And I'm not going to tell you anything else. Bazooka. You know, there's some really great childhood memories of Doctor Who. I remember the first time I saw a Dalek in colour, for example. I remember the first time I saw Dav Davros, who created the Daleks. And then, of course, the very first time we get to see the five Doctors, which is Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee, five Doctors for the price of one. It was, the science was just bonkers, but it was fabulous TV. Well, we started this, we better go through with it. We've got to get to the bottom of this somehow, Zoe. No, oh, this is all my fault. Oh, cheer up, cheer up. I expect it to be quite interesting, really. I am sorry, Doctor. My people will always remember you. Hey. Oh. Oh, that's very nice of them. Stay close to me, Zoe. You know, one of my favourite parts of writing the Doctor Who story was, it, first of all, it's Doctor Who. It was a chance to revisit all of these wonderful, iconic images and moments from my childhood. And I get a chance to write about Doctor, the, the Doctor. And when I was a young man watching Doctor Who every Saturday, creating my own adventures for him during the week, I never realised I'd get a chance to tell my own Doctor Who story. It's a dream come true. Yeah! 